another wig review from one of my favorites you guys i officially have this wig in every texture these wear and go wigs from icy hair that is just dominating the hair game right now they are amazing i tell you guys about them all the time i have several videos on other textures of this wig on my channel so make sure you guys go check this out so um you don't have to be like me and get it in every texture i feel like if you get a curly one and a body wave one then that kind of checks off maybe and even their kinky straight one i think it's kinky or yaki straight and then you'll be good so really you don't need the entire line you just need like three of them if you desire to have like different textures and stuff but anyways that was a little off topic Kept the packaging as I always do. I always show you guys what comes in here. Goodies on top of goodies on top of goodies. I showed this already. Refer back to my other videos if you care to know. So this is their glueless body wave wig. It is a 4x6 lace size HD lace. Knots already bleached. Hairline already plucked. This is what it looks like straight out of the box. I like to make sure to show you guys that. I don't alter any wigs from them because there literally is no need for me to do that. Their wigs come customized to perfection. I probably sound like a broken record saying that over and over again, but that is like the literal truth. So this is the hairline straight out of the box. Like I said, it's a four by six closure. So it is six inches across and then four inches back, which I'm going to have to go ahead and the parting goes way back here. I'm going to have to kind of fix that once it gets on my head. So body wave, this is what it's giving. As far as the curl pattern of it so for starters what i'm going to do is adjust the band that comes in it this is what helps make it glueless it always comes with one of these in there and i'm just going to kind of adjust it i kind of pretty much have an idea of where it needs to be adjusted at or you could just put it on your head and then adjust it that way and then as far as the lace the lace does need to be tinted so i'm going to go on with my ruby kisses cream foundation in level 15 on this makeup brush and I dabble into both sides on this, mainly the darker side now. I'm just going to turn the wig inside out and I'm just going to put it all over. As you can see, the lace is entirely coated with my foundation shade. Now all thing left to do is just to put it on. I'm going to have to go in and kind of define this part a little bit, but all I did was put it on. I didn't use any product yet. And that was that. I'm going to go in with this wax stick now just to kind of um, flatten everything out. I'm not sure how I want to style this wig yet, so I'll kind of figure that out or I need to figure that out soon. I do have my curling iron plugged up. I love body wave wigs and my first instinct always is to curl them just to see how well it will hold the curl in the first place. Because not all body wave hair is created equal, but essentially it should be able to hold a curl. I'm going to let you guys watch me do the styling process and then I'll come back at the end. But if you want to know if I recommend this wig automatically, it's yes. I have so many of these wigs from them to know that they are darn near perfect and I don't ever have any issues with them. Okay, so I'm trying to do like a rough draft of this hairstyle that I want to try on this wig. I've seen it on a post on Instagram. Here's my inspo pick. This is what I'm going for. Like, I'm doing this with a closure, but I'm going to try to get something close to that. So this is my rough draft. And now I'm just going to go in and try to make it look prettier. on one side at a time so I'm actually gonna take this braid that's supposed to be on this side my little edges right here they are out just a tad bit but I'm gonna try to do my best once I braid it I'm gonna kind of pull this forward so that it kind of covers that and then I think I should be good <music> the 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and do everything that I did to this side, to the other side. And this is all the hair to the front, by the way. I have it separated into twos. Like I said, I want some bigger loose waves. So I'm just gonna gently run my fingers through it just to kind of fluff the hair out a little bit. Now that the hair is cooled down, of course. I have it in 26 inches, but they do offer it in a variety of sizes, all the way from 18 inches, all the way up to 32 inches. I think next time I'm gonna try to get this wig, or not this exact wig, but the next wig that I get from them, I want it to be just long for no reason. I'm gonna shoot for like a 28, 30, or even the 32 inch, who knows, we'll see. I also have an option for you to get it with bleach knots or without bleach knots, it's like a $10 difference, so if you don't, uh, trust them to do it or you just prefer to do it yourself because you prefer to use your own methods then that is an available option it doesn't state the density on the website but i'm going to assume that it is a 180 percent density because that's what it feels like the ends of the hair are pretty healthy too I always make sure to let you guys know about the ends of the hair because sometimes some hair needs like a little bit of a trim but with this I don't have to do that so what I like about body weight wigs which I've said this plenty of times before is that it can hold a curl and it can get bone straight so I am going to straighten it um I'm not sure how that's going to look considering that I cut these pieces in the front but I'm going to straighten it anyway just to show you guys that you could get this one instead of getting like the other straight one that I did now don't get me wrong that one is great but if you wanted a wig that can do both I wouldn't say buy this body weight wig and then the other straight one that I've showed you guys just go ahead and get this one so as much as I don't want to take this style down I do want to straighten it for you guys so that's what I'm going to do and then I will be right back See? told you guys the hair presses out beautifully so there's no issues there. I even like, I almost want to do more layers, but I'm going to leave it alone. I'm still trying to work on like doing layers on wigs because sometimes I'll be messing my wigs up. And I don't like that for me. So it's still soft. It's a little staticky, I think, because of the velvet shirt that I'm wearing. But like I said, this hair is going to look even better. I know after I give it a wash, I didn't use any products on this hair. And you can see the natural luster and shine that's on it. So that wraps up this video. If I missed anything, feel free to let me know down below. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below as well. If you're interested in this wig, which I know a lot of you guys will be, it will be linked down below in my description box. And I'm going to try to see if I can pop an old discount code that I had like from a couple videos back. I'm going to test it first to see if it works. So make sure you use that. I'm just going to kind of insert it underneath this video if you know what I mean. Alright that's all I got so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.